Why do so many people hate car dealers? And why do some car dealers hate us? Why all the hatred out there? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Let me first say that I'm a little surprised you'd even use that word in the video, Kevin. Hate's not a word that you ever use, and you don't allow your children to use it either. It's never spoken in your house. No, because hate is the devil's drug, and I don't embrace it in any form. I have found that people who hate are consumed by their hatred. It eats them alive from the inside. It destroys the soul of the person who harbors it. I'm not going to be that person. That said, it's quite clear there are things that I dislike and actions I don't appreciate or respect. I call it out when I see it, but I don't stoop to feelings of hatred. Our viewers get that dealers don't like us very much, like this viewer going by Texas Mom, oh, I love that, says, I bet car dealerships hate y'all. <laughs> Kevin, you responded by saying, some do, that's for sure, but some don't. We do hear from the good ones out there who applaud our efforts. Yes, I actually spoke to a dealer just yesterday who told me on the phone call, I'm really honored to hear from you. You just made my day. Oh. Those are the words of the good guys. You know something more? The really good guys offer a time period after the transaction with a money back guarantee. That kind of a guarantee alone prevents the dealership employees from trying to coerce a customer into making a bad decision. If a car deal ever comes back because a customer was mistreated, those employees get to feel the wrath of a ticked off honest car dealer. I love it. And then viewers talk about hating dealers, like this viewer who commented on our video about document fees titled Document Fee, number one fake fee at car dealerships. Viewer Rich Guitar says, it's why we hate dealers. Where is the FTC? That sentiment is shared by many other viewers, like Chuck Stafford, who says, I hope every customer remembers the shenanigans dealerships pulled and make them pay. I hate dealerships. Dealerships. Yeah. We've both spoken out against dealers in various past videos, but you know something? We don't hate dealers. I think the dealers who interpret our comments as hatred simply misunderstand where we're coming from. They think we believe they aren't entitled to a profit, and that's nonsense. It's totally ignorant and completely wrong. I've never said that. Elizabeth's never said that. We're business people, and I totally relate to the need to make a profit. I have no objection to an honest dealership making a profit. I have no objection to an honest, customer service-minded salesperson earning a good income. Right. I have zero objection to car sales trainers who do indeed teach true customer service, unlike that thug Andy Elliott who epitomizes the disgusting underbelly of the car business. Quite frankly, I think any dealership who hires somebody like Andy Elliott for training should be investigated by that state's AG's office. The only thing Andy understands is being dishonest and treating people like they are dung. When the sales trainer or the salesperson is indeed a good person, I wish them the very best out of life. Always have, always will. What I do object to are the number of dealers who come by the profits they get by coercing their customers into a decision. From bait and switch tactics to stealing a customer's cash down payment, it happens far too often, or finance officers who repeatedly tell customers, the bank wants you to buy this product or that product in order for them to approve your loan or yeah. give you some kind of attractive rate. When you have to rely upon lies or deceit or even outright thievery in the pursuit of money, you've crossed the line in my books. How do you sleep at night working like that? Still, I don't hate those who do it. I simply don't respect them or agree with their tactics, and I will always condemn them for doing so. Let's conclude this with some very exciting news for our viewers. Friends, we are just mere days away from launching our first homework guy assisted hassle-free new car buying process and it is most likely to start with Toyota and in the state of Florida. I think California is also an early state to go live too. Super excited to be talking about this today. If you jumped on our notification list, don't be surprised when I call you and say, this is the homework guy, we're ready to do this. By the way, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, the hassle-free new car buying process Liz just mentioned, it's not too late for you to get on the list. Find the link in the description box down below the video or visit our website, thehomerguy.com, to find it. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we do for you guys. Right here, courtesy of the Homer Guy team and our show, is where you'll always find the most reliable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And we so appreciate the trust and confidence that thousands of you have shown us by getting on the notification list for the new hassle-free car buyers list. It's going to be awesome when it launches and that day is looming just around the corner. Find the link below of the video and also on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. 
If you're new here, we invite you to join our ginormous YouTube family. If you've just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. The Homer Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we got to go. go.